Hi, you're watching the weekly technology report by financialmirror.tv. The BlackBerry Storm 2 has arrived. The BlackBerry Storm 2 just made its first official carrier appearance with Vodafone. The promising follow-up to the much maligned BlackBerry Storm will be free on pay monthly contracts from £35 sterling and up. We see it to be a vast improvement on the original. The second incarnation includes Wi-Fi, a slimmed down chassis and updated interface. In case you didn't catch that, there is Wi-Fi. The Storm 2 is slightly smaller than the original and remains one of RIM's best looking Blackberries to date, although you can't notice any major changes with a naked eye. The biggest change to the BlackBerry Storm 2, as CNET.com reveals, is that RIM has revamped its SurePress technology. Instead of a mechanical suspension system, there are now electronic activators beneath the display that give off an impulse that simulates the feel of a click. It's pretty neat technology that provides several advantages over the previous SurePress screen. First, it provides a more uniform feel across the screen. And as you press down on icons or use the keyboard, you'll notice that aside from some slight depression around the four corners, the display doesn't physically move like before. In addition, when the phone is completely off, the screen doesn't move at all. The electronic SurePress technology also allows for key rollover and faster typing. This means you can now press two keys at once. The Storm 2 also supports multi-touch, just like the iPhone, for copy-paste, so you can place one finger at the beginning of the text and then the other at the end of the selection and then cut copy-paste. However, similar to the original Storm, we think the keyboard is something you'll either learn to like or hate. Other important features of the BlackBerry Storm 2 are the 3.25-inch big screen with HVGA resolution using capacitive technology while the autofocus camera has 3.2 megapixel resolution. The list goes on with Bluetooth, built-in GPS receiver, a 1400 lithium battery, 256 megabytes of flash memory, 2 gigabytes of onboard memory with microcard expansion, and the brand new BlackBerry OS 5. The screen is slightly bigger thanks to the soft keys added along the bottom of the main menu and call controls. You do get a full QWERTY keyboard in both portrait and landscape mode, Email is what Blackberries do best, and the Storm 2 is no different. A quirky feature has been added that allows you to skim over a name and the handset will pull together all messages sent from that person. Instant messaging has been added out of the box, with threading and compatibility with the likes of MSN and Google. Although there are also download links for popular social networking sites such as Facebook, MySpace and Flickr through the application center. Apart from the BlackBerry Storm 2, there are other mobile companies turning a few heads with their new devices. Acer officially announced the Android running liquid full touchscreen handset. GSM Arena claim it's safely the most powerful Android handset to date. Acer Liquid packs a 768 MHz Qualcomm 8250 Snapdragon CPU. The handset will run on Android OS version 1.6 and will have an Acer Homebrew user interface pre installed. The Liquid will pack the first 3.5-inch WVGA display in the Android world. It will use the capacitive technology as its siblings, but the size and resolution advantage turn it into a real winner, at least on paper. Rumors expect a 5-megapixel camera, stereo FM radio, micro SD card slot, as well as Bluetooth and USB connectivity. The Liquid is expected to hit the stores by the end of November or the beginning of December, right on time for the Christmas shopping. However, we don't have a mention of the price range. With its high-definition capacitive touchscreen, Acer Liquid offers today an unparalleled experience when watching pictures or videos. On the other hand, Nokia is making a good impression with its rumored N920 mobile device. The N900 successor is rumored to be a touch-only device with a huge 4.13-inch capacitive screen, 32GB internal memory and MAMO 6 operating system. While the N900 sports a hardware full QWERTY keyboard and a smaller resistive screen, the N920 should leave the keyboard and upgrade the screen to the capacitive technology, allowing for multi-touch input. Following the N900, the N920 will also come with GSM connectivity along with HSPA capabilities. Well, what do you think? Will Storm 2 make a better impression and gather better reviews than the original Storm? Give us your opinion. Well, that's it for now. Tune in next week for another tech update by financialmirror.tv.